This time I'd like to welcome two of the original founders of the ICCF caucus who have continued to serve in the role of co-chair since 2001. Senator Tom Udall, dear friend, and Chairman Ed Royce. Gentlemen, Royce, make it. John, thank you for that very warm introduction. My wife Jill's here with me tonight, and Jill and I always love uh, to be with John and Betty Ann Tanner. John's been a good friend for many years, and it, it's uh, especially nice, John, to be here with you and Connie tonight. And I just want to say, Ed Royce, that horrible traffic out there, he's caught in that. He, we were go going to be standing here together, a Democrat and a Republican, uh, to talk a little bipartisanship, but he will be here. Ed Royce will be here. In, in, uh, in 2003, I was a very junior congressman, and John Tanner and Betty Ann were our neighbors. He asked me to join him and two Republicans, Ed Royce and Clay Shaw, to form the International Conservation Caucus. The four of us started the caucus with one vision, of Democrats and Republicans working together to protect the planet's biodiversity and ecosystems. At the time, say, you can clap? Yeah, you bet. We're all excited to be here. It, at, at the time, we had no idea that the caucus and the International Conservation Caucus Foundation would come so far, so quickly, and build in such a strong bipartisan way. From Colombia to Kenya, from Thailand to Haiti, around the world, our caucus and this foundation is making a real difference saving wildlife and wild lands. Now, more than ever, conservation on the international scale is vital. Scientists are worried about the alarming rate of species extinction, whether or not we're in a sixth extinction caused by mankind, we must redouble our efforts to preserve and foster the existing biodiversity for future generations. Now more than ever, the ICCF serves as a model for our nation and for the world, proving that men and women of all political stripes, like all of you here today, can work together effectively to pursue what is in the best interest of us all, conservation of our world's greatest treasures, our forests, our water, and our wildlife. As we honor the inauguration of a new president, we must recommit to work together on a bipartisan basis to keep America at the forefront of both national and international conservation efforts. As a nation, we must figure out how to cross the divides and make our conservation, make conservation a nonpartisan issue again. When my, thank you. And I know there are so many members of Congress here and members of the audience that are doing that. When my father was Secretary of Interior in the 1960s, Congress worked on a bipartisan basis on conservation and environmental issues. We made tremendous progress and conserved record acres of lands and passed what had become the nation's fundamental environmental protection and conservation laws. We must figure out how to get back there again. Not red, not blue, but get back there with bipartisanship. <laughs> Internationally, we have just as much work to do. We must build on ICCF's many successes and push forward with even greater progress. I know the caucus and the foundation is up to the task. As far back as 1910, and I know we have uh, Teddy Roosevelt IV here, I think, tonight. Teddy Roosevelt declared, I recognize the right and the duty of this generation to develop and use the natural resources of our land. But I do not recognize 
the right to waste them or to rob by wasteful use the generations that come after us. Acting on Teddy Roosevelt's words is more important than it was 100 years ago. We must rise to the challenge. Thank you for the opportunity to open this gala, and thank you for your work on behalf of international conservation. Back to John and Connie. Thank you very much.